to start looking to eat for their needs. There's three basic types. There's a protein type, a carb type, and a mixed type. And other authors would call it different types. But the, the basic theme is this. There are different types of eaters. Not everyone is to eat the same. Not everyone has the same needs. And if you eat wrong for your type, one of the main things that will help happen, it will affect your blood sugar levels. Now, your type can change over a few different things. I'll address three. One, your stress load. So if you're doing a lot of physical activity or if you have a job that has a lot of physical activity, you're going to have a different nutritional need. And if for some reason you stop doing that for a while, your nutritional needs might change. The next one is the seasons. If you've heard about people eating seasonally, like ancient man used to do, well, your needs change as the weather change. And third, which I'm sure no one here knows anything about, is age. As you age, your, your needs are going to change. So what do we do to compensate for a poor diet is we buy vitamins. So let me address vitamins real quick. A vitamin, vitamins, like all tools, they have their place. There's, there's an importance to them. But we have to put the horse before the cart. And that means that we need to make sure that we're getting good food first. There's an instructor of mine that had a very good analogy that I'd like to share with you. It's the concept of building a boat. And we're going to build this boat with some really old wood. It's warped. It's got holes on it. We found it out in the junkyard. And we're going to take this wood to build a boat. But then we're going to go down to Home Depot and buy these nails that are made out of gold. And we're going to hope that these golden nails are going to somehow help this wood so that my boat is going to float, which of course we know is not going to happen. We need to make sure that we're using good wood. And then if you choose to use the golden nails, i.e. the vitamins, it's just going to make it that much better, right? So the, the key thing is macro before micro. That means your macronutrients need to be in order first, protein, carbs, and fat, before we start looking into the vitamins. That would be my offering to you today, is really take a look at that. I've seen a lot of people spend a lot of time and money on vitamins, but if you're not eating correctly, you might be spinning your wheels. There's a few other things that we're gonna look at uh, in holistic health. We're looking at the three most important hormones in your body. Those are insulin, adrenaline, and cortisol. I also look at the eight major glands of the endocrine system, the adrenal glands, the gonads, the ovaries, the pancreas, the thymus gland, the thyroid, the pituitary, and the pineal. Now, if you don't know what any of that is, perfect, I do. And the paperwork that I hand out that people will go through is gonna explain what are the health of these organs, the health of these glands, and how are these hormones acting within the body? The basic role of the endocrine system, those eight major glands, is to produce and regulate your hormones. So in this sense of hormones, you are what you create, you are what hormones you create, and you are what you regulate, if you can regulate those hormones. So let's just take one of those glands, the adrenal glands, and talk about how that could be affected. Well, first, we talked about not getting the correct macronutrient content. If you're not getting the right uh, proportions of proteins, carbs, and fats, what's going to happen is that is going to stress your adrenal glands. Low or high blood sugars will do that. When your adrenal glands are um, affected, so is cortisol. So you have insulin and cortisol being affected now, these three major hormones, that if they're out of balance, a lot of things go bad when those three hormones are out of balance. So when one is affected, the others are affected. Think of those three hormones like a gang. What happens when you mess with one gang member? You mess with them all. And that's exactly what happens with insulin, adrenaline, and cortisol. When you mess with your insulin levels, I can guarantee, guarantee you at some point, you're going to be messing with cortisol and adrenaline. And here's a, a, a very tricky thing with cortisol, is when our cortisol levels are out of sorts, we tend to put on body fat. So, also in holistic nutrition, we look at the six major organs of detoxification, which are the lungs, large intestine, skin, liver, kidneys, and colon. So, when it comes to detoxification, you are what you eat, you are what you absorb, and you are what you do not eliminate. So, the second point that makes me unique and effective in my business is, number two, I integrate all ideas. I do the work myself. And I feel this is a major point in my business, is that all the advice I give out or offerings I give out, I've done all the work myself. The 
the protocols that I go through, I've run through those. The detoxification systems, I've worked through. Um, the health, I've worked through. Um, it would be meaningless for me to be handing out advice, but have not gone through that myself. It is what I call, or what my instructions are.